everybody. Thank you for watching my video. I'm going to make a banner with you today. Um, I don't actually keep these this way. I had a brain blah and I got confused. So you don't need to double it over and fold it in half. You only need one piece if that makes sense. You'll see in a moment, but right now when you open that up, it's double sided. You only need, because it's just hanging on your wall, you don't need to do the whole, see how I just folded it and then opened it. It only needs to be one piece. I go back and chop it all off because I realized once I went to put the way I hang it, the little tabs up top on there. But um, yes, you only need one layer. Now I'm backing or I am adding a top layer. So the first pages that I cut, I will link the uh, sizes or not link. I will let you know what sizes I made this banner, but it doesn't matter. There are no right or wrong dimensions. You just use whatever size you want. I always make sure that my top piece, if you see, I have the plain card stock on the bottom and then a pattern on top. The top piece I always make sure is an eighth of an inch smaller all on all sides, which, excuse me, which gives you the frame. I then stitch down each one of those. I didn't show you that part. You can just tape them down, but I love to use my sewing machine. This, I'm showing you how to make the little tabs by hand. I use my punch, but you, of course, do not need to use the punch. It makes the same thing when you do it by hand. Um, I will link, I think it was two inches and... I forget the other measurement, but I also sewed on, sorry, this part's really quick, but um, I also stitched on the other ones, but again, you don't need a sewing machine, so I'm showing you on this one, you can just staple them on. Um, when you sew down your top piece, so if you're gonna do the two pages, like the cardstock solid on the background or any cardstock and then another one on top, if you're gonna stitch around the edges, make sure you put the tape or the adhesive only in the center where your needle is not going to pass. Otherwise, your needle will get clogged. So the paper, I, that little gold stuff on top is from my stash. It's tool, but everything else, other apart from the, the metal dies that I use and the eyelets can all be found in the kits. None of the trim is in the kits, but I, I didn't use too much trim on this one. So everything else, I will try when I see it in the video to make sure you know, but that acetate is also not in the kit. When I do my um, crinkly like this, the crinkling the paper with the um, fan fold, I do one side, so say I do it on the every one inch and a half inch, I'll do one side on all the ones, so one, two, three, four, and then I'll flip it and do the other side on the half. So half inch, one and a half, two and a half, and then it already helps you fold back and forth, back and forth, back and forth that way. Otherwise, sometimes it's tricky to get the nice fold if you only score on the one side. Um, for the chipboard, I, I just peeled the back off, same with this one. I, I move my projects or my like layering around so much when I'm making it. Honestly, I must have picked that flower up like 50 times and moved it a hair, a hair, a hair. So when that sticky adhesive is on it, it just messes everything up because it sticks down to the paper and then you pull it up and it moves all your stuff. So I peel it off and then hot glue it down. Same with these. I just cut them. Those are the puffy stickers exclusive for, uh, for the March kit. They're so beautiful. The colors are stunning. Um, I just cut them off around the plastic so I can move them. I sped this video up so much because nobody wants to see me move the same piece of chipboard for 30 minutes. I don't even want to watch myself do it. So I sped it up, but just know I move, I am so indecisive literally by the hair of where these things go. So when I start gluing stuff down, it's like in my head, I'm like, woohoo, finally. <laughs> um, I love making banners. They're so much fun to make. And once you have all of them on the banner string, it just looks so pretty. So again, everything is in this or in the March kit. Aside from the trim, I'm sure you've heard me say that a million times. That twine is not in the kit. That is from Michael's. It's knotting cord. It's in the kids' crafting area over by, I think, like the feathers. It's, it's called knotting cord. Um, it comes kind of, so when you untwirl it, it's kind of bent. If you pull it and give it a little stretch because it's plastic, it'll take the bends out and it's easier to work with. 
I glue down when I put that uh, little knotting cord on there. I glue it down and stick a piece of paper on there because I'm still not done moving my chipboard from side to side a thousand times. So that way it stays in place. This washi tape is from the March kit. Um, it, you can barely see it when I use it, but I've said this many times. It is, it's just another layer for your eye to look at. So when you, when I have these items or when I give these items or when I get swaps and happy mail swaps um, and, and you look at something and then three days later you look at it again and notice something that you didn't notice before, it's really cool. And, and the overall, it adds just nice depth and layers. So don't be afraid to put something in there that you barely see. It's okay because it, you could see it poking through enough to give it that little bit of gold and the little bit, you can see the little scalloped edge. Those die cuts are exclusives to Hip Kit Club. They're also really pretty. They go with this, all the paper that they send with this collection really nicely. Um, so for her, I had to give her a little extra dimension on her head because she's on that, resting on that chipboard flower. So she wasn't flush against the acetate or the vellum. So I stuck her down so she wasn't wonky or, or crooked. So now she's level with the chipboard and the vellum. <clears throat> I always, these are plenty sticky, but I always glue them because the banner and I put it on the crinkly fan fold. I want to make sure it's secure. So that's the first piece that I make. I think I add a couple of hearts in a moment. That die cut is also from the kit. I'm sorry if I uh, repeat myself about what is and isn't in the kit. I just don't want to confuse you guys because sometimes I use items, definitely always the trim, and I want to make sure you know for sure what is included in the kit. So those hearts, they have changed the hearts that they have in the kit. They still have really beautiful hearts, and they are all also epoxy hearts, uh, but they're made by Doodlebug. There was a problem with these, so they changed them out. Um, I put the glue again, I glue them down because this is hanging up. I don't want them to fall off because it's hanging on the wall and it doesn't always, they don't always stick when it's hanging and my fans on and I'm hitting it when I go to grab something. So I just make sure that I, I'm positive and I only put a teeny tiny little bit of glue because if you put too much, if you've worked with hot glue, it gets everywhere and then you can't get it off and then you have glue squished through and you, all you see is hot glue everywhere. So just be really gentle with the amount of hot glue you use so you don't see it when you're holding the stuff up close. So I'm showing you the layers now. I do one more on camera and then I, at the end of the video, I show you all five of the banner pieces. Please, if you want me next time to show you how I do all of them, I absolutely will. The only reason why I didn't was because I didn't want this video to be too long. It takes me forever. Uh, I think these two banners took me an hour each banner. Well, it's probably 40 minutes, but when I cut the paper, it took me 45 minutes just to get the banner shapes ready because I am just, I have issues and I want this to go one way and this over there. Oh, I didn't mention. I'm so sorry. I may have. I'm like backtracking. I showed you a green one, but I changed it out. I didn't actually use the green one. I changed it to a pink paper. I'm sorry if I said that or if I didn't say that, but I showed you I made a green flower one, but I didn't end up using the green one. So yes, so if you want me to, sorry, I hope you follow along with my back and forth nonsense. Um, it's hard to do these videos and to watch me and to say, so just know I'm trying my best to explain everything as I talk to you guys. Um, if you would like me to do all of them, just tell me. I, of course, will. I'm already making it, so it doesn't do, it doesn't add any more time for me to film it while I make it. So I'm perfectly happy. Just comment below that you would like to see me make all of them next time if I do a banner, and I, of course, will show you. These are exclusive puffy stickers from the March kit. I love them. They're so gorgeous. That yellow trim is not from the kit, nor are the, um, eyelets, but you don't need eyelets. Like I said, you can just punch holes. So thank you very much. I'm about to show you a walkthrough of all of the banners. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun making it. And this is the last thing I add. These are uh, in the kit, doodle bug, little jewels. Hi everybody. Thank you for watching my video. Here is the completed banner. I only showed you two of the banner pages. So this is the first one. Um, I did three more off camera. 
These embellishments are the embellish embellishments that I made last week, last Saturday, uh, for a process video. So I did mention that I was gonna use them in this week's project, so this is one. I did use two of them, but here's the first banner. Here is the other page flag that I used from last week's video. And I just added, for this one, I crinkled paper um, on the back, and I added, I fussy cut this from one of the pages, and this is one of the die cuts. And then I, and that's, that's it. I only use one, two, three things and then put this embellishment right on top. This is the um, mostly all the fruit chipboard pieces from the Maggie Holmes chipboard that we get from, from the Sunny Days collection. And I use this little die here, the little lemonade from the die cut, the exclusives. This straw strawberry, <laughs> this orange is also an exclusive. These are the puffy stickers. This die cut is an exclusive. I used some of the little, um, what are these called? Doodle bug, the little doodle bug jewels. And then the last one. Oh, and I used the cherries. So I've been struggling. These cherries have been floating around. They're super cute, but I just couldn't find a place for them. In my last video, I like move them off and on the project so many times, but I did finally find a spot. And then here are the last two that I just made that you just watched me make. And this is the last one. Thank you very much, as always, for watching. Hopefully you guys make a beautiful banner. The ban banners are really, really fun to make. Uh, I love making them, and they come out really, really cute. I left extra length because I'm unsure of where I'm going to hang it yet so I can move the pieces around. But, yes, thank you very much, and happy crafting.